Hi all, good day. Welcome to vSparks. Today I am going to walk you through GCP's shared VPC concepts and we are going to see a demo on the same as well. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. Further, we are going to discuss on these topics in this video. What is a shared VPC? A shared VPC is a special kind of VPC which spans across multiple projects of GCP's organizational account. The resources which exist in different projects can interact with each other more securely using its private IP addresses with the help of shared VPC. A project that participates in a shared VPC is either a host project or a service project. We call the project where the shared VPCs are created or defined is called as host project. The project where the VPCs are shared with from the host project are called as service projects. A project cannot be both a host and a service project simultaneously. A project that does not participate in shared VPC is called as a standalone project. Why shared VPCs are created? Shared VPCs lets organizational administrators delegate administrative responsibilities such as creating and managing instances to service project administrators while maintaining centralized control over the network resources like subnets, routes, firewalls, etc. So this is why the shared VPCs are created. I mean this is one of the reason. Let us see the architectural differences with and without a shared VPC. Let's see the resource communication without a shared VPC. So in this architecture, we have two projects, project A and project B. These projects are created beneath my organizational GCP account called vsparks.com. VPC 1 is created in project A. Similarly, VPC2 is created in project B. VMA is created in VPC1 and VMB is created in VPC2 respectively. We already know VPCs are project based. In other words, VPCs are contained in a single project and it cannot be used by other project resources. As per this architecture, VMA and VMB can interact with the help of internet which is not secure as it involves external communication. This is why each and every VPC is a logically isolated networks. So if these two networks want to communicate, they have to go via the internet. So now we will see the resource communication with the help of shared VPC. So in this architecture, you can see VPC 1 of project A is shared or extended to project B as well. In this case, project A is called the host project and project B is called as the service project. Now the communication between VMA and VMB is fully private as it uses a single VPC network. This VPC network is now called as Shared VPC Network. Shared VPCs can be shared with multiple service projects also. But as per this architectural diagram, we have shared with only one service project. 
but it can also be shared with multiple service projects. There are some things that you should remember while creating or using a shared VPC. See, normally shared VPCs can be created only when the GCP account is an organizational account. So to create an organizational account, you need a domain. If you don't know how to create an organizational account, please refer the previous videos. To set up a shared VPC, the concerned person should have a shared VPC admin role from the IAM. That too, he has to have at the root level of the organization. Also, APIs must be enabled in the projects that is participating in the shared VPC concepts. More specifically, the APIs are the Compute Engine APIs. When a host project is enabled, all of its existing VPC networks become the shared VPC networks. And any of the newly created network within the project will automatically be considered as a shared VPC network. So these points you should remember always while working with shared VPCs. Now it's quiz time. Please answer this quiz by clicking your right top corner of your screen. And your question is, shared VPC can be shared across what? The options are multiple projects in the same organization, with multiple organizations and a single project. The answer is given in the next slide. Before going to the next slide, please answer this quiz in your YouTube screen. The answer is multiple projects in the same organization. Shared VPCs can be shared across multiple projects in the same organization. Now it's time to see the demo. These are the things that we are going to see in this demo. This is the simple architecture of a shared VPC. In this demo, we are going to use three projects, one post project and two service projects. We are going to share the VPC and its subnets from the host project to the service projects. Now it's step one, log into Google Cloud Console and review the host project and the service project. Just open up a browser, and just type console.cloud.google.com just enter your email ID and the credentials to log in. That's it. You have logged into the console of GCP. As per our architecture, our organizational node is vsparks.com. Beneath vsparks.com, we have created three projects that is host project, service project A and service project B. For simplicity, we have opened these multiple projects in multiple tabs. That's it. So now we have reviewed all the three projects. Step 2. Assign shared VPC IAM permissions. So we need to assign a shared VPC admin role to the person who is going to create the shared VPCs. So this role should be given at the root level for the user admin at the rate of vsparks.com. Just open IAM and admin uh, page. So just edit the permissions for admin at the rate of vsparks.com user. So this user is already having compute shared VPC role here. So if not, try to include that particular role to this user. 
so in our demo the concern role is already available with the particular user so now step 3 we are going to create vpc subnets and firewall rules in the host project so just navigate to your host project go to your navigation menu and under networking just click vpc network under vpc network click create a vpc network give a vpc name vpc-1 so inside that vpc create two subnets subnet 1 i am just creating it in asia east 1 region with an ip address range of 172.19.1.0 slash 24 so you know the subnets are regional based so now i am adding subnet number 2 in the region asia east 2 with an IP address range of 172.19.2.0 slash 24 click create now my VPC is going to get created with two subnets after some time it will get created once it is created add the necessary firewall rules Just give a name for your firewall role. The traffic is going to be ingress traffic and we are going to allow it to the specific target tags. My target tag is going to be allow dash all traffic. So this target tag must be given to all the instances which are going to use this firewall so I am going to allow all the protocols with this step 3 is over now proceed to step 4 where we are going to share the VPC and its subnets to the service projects So under the shared VPC click setup shared VPC so now we are going to enable the host project that's it we have enabled this host project now we are going to share the VPC and its subnets to the other projects So this is just a filter type your vpc name uh, to filter out the uh, vpcs or the subnets so now we have vpc dash ones subnets here i'm going to share subnet one with service project a and service project b and i am going to give the permissions to the users of service project a and service project b with the help of role the persons with these roles in service project A and service project B only can use my shared subnet once everything is done click save now subnet 1 is shared to service project A and service project B and you can cross check the same now you can see the subnet 1 is shared to service project A similarly in service project B subnet number 1 from the host project would have been shared now 
Now, step 5. We are going to create VMs in the service projects and test the shared VPC's connectivity. Go to the navigation menu in service project A. Click VM instances under compute engine. Now, click create. Give a name for your machine. In our case, it should be VM-A. Now, VM A should be created in subnet 1 and VM B should also be created in subnet number 1. I believe subnet number 1 should be in Asia East 1, that is in Taiwan. Choose your favorite image. So, my favorite image is CentOS. I am choosing it. So, under networking, you choose the network tag as hello dash all traffic this is the firewall network tag which we have created in host projects vpc now the network must be shared vpc so the second option you have to choose and then choose the shared subnet which is subnet number one in our case vm dash a is created similarly you create vm dash b in service project B. So to save the time, I have already created VM-B in service project B. So this VM-B is using shared VPC only. Now try to ping VM-B from VM-A. So now the communication is happening via privately, not by public. Yeah, I think we can see the responses. This is how the flow is. VMA will reach host projects VPC. From there, it will reach VMB of service project B. That's it. Shared VPC is working perfectly. This is the summary of this uh, uh, video. This is what we have seen for the past few minutes. Thank you from vSparks and thank you for watching this video.